Welcome to my humble abode. I am very excited today because today is my back to school haul as you would have read in the title and I am very excited about it because I've been watching these non-stop and I wanted to make my own. So I'm going to try to make this one more interesting and you know better than the last two years I've done it which I didn't even remember I'm doing. Anyway, okay, let's get started. The first place I went to was Daiso. So I have these massive bags from Daiso. Why? Because everything's $2.80. <laughs> okay, so. First thing, I have my books. I only have three classes where I'm probably going to need books, so I'll buy more if I need them. But first, I got my math book, and I was very excited that they had a math book. And they have normal grid size, which is great. So, I got this, and I'm probably going to um, decorate the cover and stuff. So, yeah, and it's cool. Then I just got these two spiral A4 polka dot ones. One for biology and one for English. Got those. Next, I got this um, 30 ring file thing. It's a spiral folder. Because normally I get these, but I get normal ones where the spiral's outside and then the things keep falling up, coming out. So I got this one. And this here means I wish I could stop time. Fun fact, I looked it up. But I'm probably going to decorate this too. I like the colour, but it's still boring. So I'm probably just going to decorate that. Then to go with that, I got the um, the sheet protectors, and they're cool because they have yellow um, reinforcement strip things, whatever they're called. <sighs> Clear pocket with colour line. There we go. So I got yellow. So I thought that was fun. Okay. Next, I got some loose leaf paper. Boom, boom. You always need paper, and this has like the date and stuff, space for the date. So just got some loose leaf paper. Probably could have bought this cheaper somewhere else, but whatever. Then I just got some clear pockets to keep assignments in. A lunch box insulation thing. How's it open? Where, where is the zipper? There it is. Open it. And it is insulated. Inside. Wait. I'm going to tilt this down. No, okay. Wait. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. Then, I have this and this. Stay. This was originally going to be my pencil case, but then I realised it's a bit too big. Because it was, like, smaller and flat when I bought it, and then I decided I didn't like it. So, I got this, and I'm probably going to use this for, like, art supplies and stuff like that, because I'm doing art. But it's cool, because it has, like, a little handle, the bow, the top is a handle, so it's really cool. So, it just opens. And, in here, I have a water bottle, bottle, water bottle, insulator, keep cold thingy. And then, I have this pencil case, and because my backpack is um, smaller than I'm used to. I got this to keep like the essentials in so they don't get lost because it doesn't have as many pockets and it's cool. It has two little pockets at the back and then it also has two pockets inside if you can see that. So I got that and then I got a sh pencil sharpener and apparently it has a mirror but it's kawaii. It looks like this. So I got that and I got an eraser that apparently has a mirror on it too. And then I got a mini sketchbook because I normally draw a lot in my books. So I got um, a sketchbook so I don't do that. Then I got a cutlery set because my other one, the case cracked. Then I got some tape because you always need tape because things rip. Then I got a compact stapler. I don't believe this is a stapler, but I'll have to tra trust it, test it. So it looks cool. Then I just got some lead pencils. HB. Then I got a mechanical pencil. 
because those are good for sketching. Then I got all these erasers because I can never have enough erasers. Then I just have some wet wipes to, you know, keep cool. Then I have a metal ruler. Then I have a bunch of colourful pens because I like writing in colourful colours and it's cheaper getting it from there. And then lastly, I have the scissors because I had tiny, tiny baby scissors last year and they were annoying for everyone. So, yeah, that is all I got from Daiso for school. I have a haul previously for the other couple of things that I got from Daiso. Okay, from Kmart, I got these post-it notes. There's like a heap of different sizes. Well, there's three. There's a huge one, the half huge one, and then the little tiny baby strips that come in all these colours. And I thought it was really cool because it folds up into this wallet thing. So it's very compact, this is from Kmart, but I already opened the packaging, it was in packaging, but I bought it and I've already used it, so yeah. Okay, what is next from Costco? I have this 24 pack of Sharpies, and it comes with an extra one, so it's 25, and it's all these different pretty colours, and yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And then, what is this? Whoa! Uh -huh. I have the moment you're all waiting for. My backpack, it came yesterday and I wasn't expecting to do this haul so soon because I didn't think it was coming time, but it did. So this is the backpack. It smells like leather or something and it's cool. The straps have studs on them too and they're gold, so that's cool. And yeah, so this is a front pocket. Yep, just a, a front pocket. And then inside, you open it, and it opens up to be pretty big. And then there's another pocket inside too. Look, there. So yeah, that's cool. I'll put the link for that down below. Um, I created a Pinterest board with all the things I could find online that have links. So I will show you that because I've been working really hard on that. Okay, next. I went to Office Works and yeah, so I have this USB flash drive from SanDisk and this is 8 gigs. I don't know how much it was, but yeah. Actually, I haven't even been saying prices, so whatever. My backpack was about $25, the Sharpies were about $15, and I'd say the USB was around $4, and the rest of the stuff was $2.80, and this was under $3, I don't know that much. Okay, so, also from Officeworks I have this uh, A3 Visual Arts Diary, which was around $11, it's pretty pricey, and then I have a A4 one as well, I'm not sure how much that was, because I didn't pick it up, then I have a math set from Study Mate, this was 99 cents. Then I have the Sharpie pens, which I use as outlining pens for my drawings or sketches or whatever I like to do because they, um, they don't, the, the tip doesn't like press in if you press too hard or whatever and it doesn't bleed and it's really great so I just got two of these. Then you got a blue stick because this is my favourite glue. What is that accent man? Then I got some Faber-Castell highlighters because I wanted... I only had three coloured highlighters last year and it was annoying. So I got these ones. And they're really pretty. I love them so much. Okay. What else? Then next we have my favourite pens in the entire world. These are the big, soft, feel, retractable, medium point black pens. And I only got three of them because I'll just get more later. <laughs> and then... From Woolworths, this was $5.90 and it's a 10 piece hot value stationery pack. And it has, I forgot to get um, blue and black pens, it has a little pencil grip and it has a four color papermate pen and a red papermate pen, a sharpie paint pen, a um, papermate pacer, which I think is lead pencil, I'm not sure. It has some sort of pen, I'm not sure what this is, fine liner. 
it has a black pen, it has an eraser, it has a red pen, it has another blue pen. So, this is five dollars ninety, and that was very good value. So that's all I got from Office Works. And then Typo. I went to Typo quite a bit. I got two bags, but neither of them were full with Typo things. But um I don't go to Typo a lot because it can get really expensive, but I just wanted some key things from there. So yeah, the first thing I got from Typo was this school diary. I've already started using it because I've shown this in the previous video, but I really like it because it tells you what, um, it has a bunch of measurements in here, and it tells you when all the public holidays are, and the school term, starts, and contacts, and month, and it has places for your timetables, and yeah, I've already written a bunch in it, and it's cool also because I'm going to be keeping merit cards in this thing. And it also has stickers, which are like birthdays, exams, tests, stuff like that. So that's cool. And then, what else did I get from Typo? What is even in this bag? Is anything else from Typo even? Okay. I have these little pouches that were $2 each. I have an A one and my little pony one because they were unicorns even though it says my little pony. The rest were two dollars each. Got some tissues from Woolworths. These aren't from Typo. Um, yeah, I got some tissues for when I'm sick. Okay, I must. Okay, and I also got this um, Paris one, and I also got some gum just in case. I'm not allowed to have gum, but shh. That's from Woolworths too. I so say this is Woolworths and Typo, I'm guessing, because I can't find anything else. Okay, well, from Typo, I was originally going to use this as my pencil case because it's the only cool one there. But then I went back yesterday with Anna, and I found the one I've been wanting for so long. So this is a Galaxy USA Skyline, and I finally had it. I was so happy, so I'm going to return this one. Because that was, otherwise I'd be ten dollars wasted. So, oh yeah, and from Typo, I have this cool vintage mini pin and just a Mickey head. So yeah, and also from Woolworths, I have um, some more wipes and I have some mint. Eclipse orange mints because, um, yeah, I think that's actually almost all I got from yeah. And the last thing I got was this drink bottle from Smeagol and it's green and it has a ninja. So it's cool and it opens, I don't know how does it open. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. You like take this little thing off and then push it. That's cool. Okay, well, I'm guessing that's all that's it now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Ah, uh, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Haha. <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope you like this video. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye.